Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Feelers. And sometimes when you want to change a color or something, you can use HSL. But other times there's easier ways. So I'm going to show you a quicker way in some situations in case you run into some problems. So let's get started. In the stock tab under Unsplash, I just typed in car and I pulled in this car. And I'm just going to do it again. I'll, in fact, I'll delete my old one that was right here. And I'm just going to center that. And this is who the photo is by right there. LFC Philippe Sousa. You can use any photo. So I'll quickly go to HSL and show you what the problem is with HSL. And so here we go. I went to HSL. I'm going to choose a blue. And I'm going to do the color picker. And then I'm going to try changing the color. And it works pretty well in some colors. But you can see right here it didn't catch all the colors. So the problem here is you have to play around with this. For example, maybe pull away from greens. And I don't really know exactly. Go this way. And it takes a little practice. And if you had... Um, the original color is blue. If you had, I don't have it here, but if you had any blue in the background, then you'd have to either mask the car or t put, apply a mask and erase any blue background because it will change to the color you're picking. So let me show you a different way of doing it. And if you run into cases like this, just create a new layer and change it to hue, change the blend mode to hue and then grab a paintbrush and I'm choosing a red color and I'm going to go a little bigger and I am going to just start painting this car just like that and because of hue anything dark really won't even show up so you can kind of go across I shouldn't have gone across the name let me undo that just to but you can kind of go across the grill and let me get a close-up, see what we're working with. And you could have also masked the car in the beginning, um, but you also have to mask, then you have to refine, and you have to do all of that. But here I'm just basically painting the car itself, and I'm almost done. Again, I shouldn't have gone through that, but because it's on its own separate layer, I can erase that very easily, and I'll show you that in a second. And let me go up here. And you notice I'm going over the black, but it's not affecting it, the dark color. And you should be, of course, more careful. I wanted this to be a very quick tutorial. So now what I'll do is I will go to my eraser. And since, because it's on a separate layer, and I'll, I'm going to use, sorry, eraser. I'm going to use my left bracket to make it smaller, and I'm going to get rid of Actually, no, it turns out that there was blue in there, so I'm going to paint it right back on. It was because the reflection was showing, and there's a few spots here and there. But that's it. That's a quick tutorial. Let's go back and see what it looks like. And we didn't have to worry if there was any blue back here. We didn't have to erase any of that. This did not affect it. I could see I missed a little there. And you should be much more careful. But look how simple that was. So I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, please, please subscribe. Because since I was away for a while, Google is not recommending me. I'm not showing up in many people's recommendations. And I'd like to try and get more. So just hit that subscribe button. It costs you nothing. And I can keep giving more tutorials. So have a great day.